Hey everyone, glad that you are here. Good to see you. Happy Friday for those of you who are um, thinking about if we're at the end of the week or not. A lot of entrepreneurs, that's not something that they're as concerned about. I wanna make sure that you can hear me okay. And it sounds like you might be able to hear me, but definitely um, put anything down below in the comment section if for some reason you're unable to hear me just because we had problems with the connectivity issue um, earlier this week of trying to get everything to connect properly so that you can hear me okay. All right, I wanted to talk about um, systems and whether or not you have a system in place for your business, this is really, really important. And in, in fact, if this is not something that you are doing now, make this a major goal for this year because it's gonna give you more time in your day. It's gonna free you up with a lot of um, the activities that, that you could, um, do in a different way so that you're not constantly reinventing the wheel. So what you need to do is make sure that you are only spending your time on the tasks that only you can do. And these are tasks that are very impact generating. They are bringing in the most income into your business. They are the things that are high power that you really need to have your focus and your mind and attention on. The other small tasks then, you can identify what they are and that may be something that you can outsource. And you could start beginning to look at different areas of your business and, and what maybe you should start outsourcing to free up your mind to concentrate on just doing the main activities in your business that makes the most impact and brings in the most revenue for you. So when we talk about this with systems, it's the same thing when people talk about processes and they talk about a protocol or a standard operating procedure and SOP, they all mean the same thing. And I think that's confusing for everyone is everyone um, is basically saying the same thing, but they use different wording and a different type of language. But what you're doing is you're putting something in place that you can just work through on a daily basis. So you want to begin doing this for yourself personally in your business. And then that's going to help you get to a point where then you can look at what can I hire out? What can I outsource? Maybe I can train someone to do some of these tasks and hire them to do it for me in your business. So you, you need to get something in place and here is how you can do it is number one, you need to write down everything that you're doing. You need to have uh, your planning in place for each day of these are the things that I need to work on today. Okay, now we had talked about that before of how to do that, how to set your goals, how to then work your goals and to get them into your calendar to make sure that you truly are able to fully reach your goals and you've got something in place to be able to do that. But now you need to take it a step further, okay? You've made your goals, you've set your goals, you've wrote down all of the tasks, everything uh, for all of your projects that you wanna achieve, you've written all your tasks down and then you started working back through your calendar and you're working backwards through your calendar from a due date and you're placing every single step and task that you need into your calendar, giving everything a due date. So you know that number one, it's a reasonable expectation. And number two, it will get done by this certain time without having to feel completely overwhelmed or needing to work 16 hour days. So that's one area to work on, but I would take it a step further now. And this year, maybe this is gonna be a major goal for you to accomplish is try to get a system in place for your business so that you can begin to automate things a little bit more and free up more of your time so that you are making your main decisions based around the areas in your business that make the most impact. Now that making the most impact can be a variety of things. It could be that it's bringing in more revenue it could mean that it's making the most impact by making a difference somehow, some way. 
or it's all of the above. And usually if you are making a difference, you are bringing in more revenue. It's just what naturally happens. It, be, it, it just naturally, you know, uh, falls into place, goes hand in hand, if you will. So in order to get your system in place, here's what you need to do. You've got your, your daily tasks. You've got your projects all worked out. You know what tasks you need to be working on because that's going to help you get that one step done towards wrapping up a project. And you need to track how much time you're spending total so that you know how much time does this really take. And there's a lot of different apps that you can use for time tracking. You can even just do this in a document, a Google document. You can do this in a spreadsheet. And you can track how much time you're spending and write it down. You know, how much time am I spending on doing this task? So, you know, for example, it, with Pinterest marketing, how much time am I doing with scheduling out all of my pins for one week? How much time does that take me? And there's ways for you to then look at that and say, wow, I can't believe I'm spending that much time doing this one task. No wonder I feel like I'm behind. Now, is there something that I can do to make that go faster to speed that up? And one of the things that you can do is, you know, that's a, a recurring task that you're going to do. If you only schedule out for a week at a time with your Pinterest marketing, that's something that you're going to do as a recurring task every single week. Maybe you do it at the beginning of the month and you schedule out for the whole month, right at the beginning of the month. That's still a recurring task. So you want to write that down of what you're doing, how much time it's taking you. Okay, then you need to start creating templates for yourself. You need to create templates for if you're creating your pins, what kind of, uh, you know, I need to create some pin templates for myself. If you have templates that you're using for your pin descriptions, where all you have to do is maybe you've got more than one, I would suggest using uh, creating more than one template for yourself. And all you need to do is insert in your major keywords and each of your templates could be slightly different. It could be targeting a different type of audience or different people. And you're going to need to have templates that are for your different products. So if you have one line of products, those templates may work great, but then if you have a, a completely different line of products that's unrelated, you'll have to have a whole set of templates for those. So it is, it does take time to create these templates, but you will reap the rewards of that investment down the road over and over and over again, because now it takes you less time overall to do your own scheduling of your pins every single week. You're not reinventing the wheel and trying to sit and, and out of your head, write a brand new pin description every single time. So that's really, really important. And you can have templates in place for everything that you're doing. So not just your Pinterest marketing, but every area in your business that you're working on, create templates, create email templates, create, make everything a template as you possibly can. All right. Now, what I would also do is I would write down every single step of what you're doing. Take the time to actually write down I do this step, this step, this step, this step for two reasons. Number one, when you write something down, it's very powerful. You can now look at it more objectively and you may see that there are some steps in there that aren't necessary, that you can shorten that process up by taking some of those steps out that are not important steps. And you may have realized that you're working way too hard and maybe you have way too many steps involved than what you really truly need. So when you write down your steps of what you're actually doing down on paper, it helps you to evaluate it in a new way and look at it much differently. Okay. So you write down all of your steps, you get that real clear. Then you go back and you evaluate those steps. You know, are those steps everything of what I need to do? Is there a different way of doing it that could be better? Because there's more than one way of doing things. Is there a way that I could shorten some of those steps or make some of those steps go faster? Now, the second reason why writing down every single one of those steps is because at some point you may want to hire someone 
you may want to train somebody. Well, now you have something in place to be able to share with them of here's what you're going to do. Now you have a way of training them. But until you actually do this yourself, it's going to be very, very hard for you to train someone else to do anything in any area of your business. You, you can't assume that they're going to know how to do whatever job or task that you're asking them to do. You really do have to have a training manual. You need to have some kind of step-by-step -step system that you provide for them. Now, every, every brick and mortar retailer company, they have this in place. They have a training manual for their employees. They have um, even training guides for the trainers to teach them how to train someone. You know, everything is documented. That is their operating procedures. That's their protocols. And everything runs fluidly because of the system that they have in place. So it does require some time up front for you to put all of these things together, but you will save that time down the road twofold, threefold, fourfold, because now all you have to do is just work the system. It also is going to save you from say, some of the extra brain power and energy of decision making where you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. You don't have to spend your mental energy thinking quite so hard. All you need to do is look at your step-by-step -step procedure and just go and then put your templates in place so that you aren't working quite so hard. So I encourage you to now take another step after you've got your goal set in place and you've got them, you know, where you're working through them backwards in your calendar. I think it's really important now for you to build a system and get it in place for your business and start working that system. This is gonna save you a load of time, a load of time. The number one thing that I'm hearing from so many e-commerce businesses, and I know it myself because I've been in e-commerce for a long time, is that the one thing that is a major problem is not enough time. There's just not enough time in the day to get everything done. So if you were to spend some extra time this year, putting your goals in place, working your goals, and then getting a system in place to help you with all of your recurring tasks, things that you have to do on a continual basis, daily, weekly, monthly, everything, write everything out step-by-step. Step. Now you've got a system. And that system is going to be more doable for you, take less time for you to work. And if you hire someone else, you've got an awesome and amazing system to train them with and to help them. Hey, Brian. Hey, Robert. How's it going? It's good to see you here. Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Just very short is how you can get a system in place if you don't have one. And I would say make that the number two thing besides getting your goals in place and working your goals, making sure that your goals are on your calendar, all of the tasks that you need to accomplish your goals are marked out on your calendar and on a spreadsheet, everything that I shared before, do that first. And now in order to make all of that go faster and easier for all of your tasks that you need to do on a regular basis, everything that's recurring for you month after month. Put that into a system. Then all you need to do is work the system, repeat the system, and then it's much easier for you to hire out some of those things and train someone. Okay, if you need help with any of those things, I'm glad to help you. I definitely can do a one on one consultation with you if you need help with your goals, with how to set all this stuff up, if you need help with with uh, getting some systems in place for yourself. Definitely, um, I would be more than happy to work with you in an hour consultation call where we can get all of that cleared up and directed and worked out for you as well. And uh, for those that just truly don't have time, we do offer Pinterest management services for you. 
where we can take that part of the business off your hands so that you can focus and concentrate directly on your business. If you are not ready for that step, there's lots of courses that I've created that you can work through yourself, get some really good learning in place and put everything into practice, create a system around that, and then you'll be able to take your next steps with um, seeing what kind of results you can get. And then you can hire a virtual assistant if you need to. And then when you're really ready, we can help you take it to the next level with our Pinterest management services that we offer. And uh, we're pretty selective. We've learned to be a lot more selective of who we work with. And we are definitely um, more than happy to work with people who are really fully committed to their business. They are two feet into their business. And I say that because there's a lot of e-commerce businesses out there that are not fully committed. They really aren't. And it's going to be very, very hard then uh, no matter what you do, it doesn't matter if you outsource anything or not. If you're not fully into your, your um, business, two feet and fully committed, it can, it can be very difficult for you to see progress and growth no matter what you do. Um, you really have to be there in your business and be fully committed to doing everything that it takes to see the sales come in to see the progress. And those are the, the people and the companies and business, businesses that we want to work with and are more than happy to work with you. So I hope this kind of helps you today with learning how to get a system in place. And uh, maybe we can talk more later about further details of more ideas and ways to do that. But definitely, definitely take your first steps get your goals set, plan them all out, calendar them out, your tasks, get your recurring tasks in place, get your system up and running, work the system so it doesn't take you quite so much time, then you'll be ready. You'll start to see sales coming in because there's consistency. And I will say that the number one way to help you be successful and get sales and keep the sales coming in on a regular basis is consistency. If every area of your business is being worked consistently, it will happen. You'll see the success come in. You'll see the sales come in. It will happen for you. But you got to have everything in place to help support you and be very consistent with your work on a daily basis. All right. Have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend. We will talk again later.